Hey guys, we're back again at Practically Tactical. I'm your co-host, Steve Fisher, along with Nick. Co-host, you promoted I, I, I did, I did promote myself to co-host. Might as well just go to owner. You're right, I am the owner and CCO. No. So <laughs> There's here, no financials to <laughs> You're right. So in this case, I'm Steve Fisher. This is Nick, Practically Tactical, obviously. We are here again talking about lights, and Nick has kind of one that set the internet on fire and made people upset. The Surefire XH35. Mm, why would you want this light? It's terrible. People said you can't get holsters for it, and it's not bright enough, and it doesn't do this. And I have holsters for it. Nope. Uh, I bought this when it first came out from uh, Ike at Big Tex Outdoors. Discount code down below for you guys. Um, I think this light absolutely fills the role. Yes, it's their max vision beam. It's all spill. It's a thousand lumens of all spill. But again, it, it serves a role. Mm -hmm. just, just like the, the guns that we pick and, and the lights that we pick, it needs to fit certain roles. Um, for this, this is a phenomenal inside the house light it could be outside as well depending be. on distance again what depends what you do for a job and right. what you need for a light when but, this, yeah when that light first came out everybody was kind of like oh my god it's only you know, it's on the max vision it's like hey bro knock it off let's talk about it let's figure it out let's put it in the use yeah. see where it goes what it does and again it is limited in its throwability so yeah. it's not going to be a big distance light it's not but indoors um you know, the person who's not super light savvy, you know, significant others that they're not as well trained as yourself yep. or other human beings where it's like, I need light. I need them to be able to see. That is it. Yeah. On, on a pistol, uh, my personal fairness, is I love that light on my shotguns. Uh, that, I think this is perfect. Yeah. You're going to be limited on, again, you need to pattern your shotgun. Sure. We have a video with Steve on that, how to pattern it and understand the distances that mm -hmm. you're, you know, a, a responsible with, with the ammo versus a liability. Yes. And usually at the distances, this light matches that. Yeah. Uh, for PIDing stuff, um, I think this light absolutely fills a role. You know, for for me, um, you know, running this through classes, you know, you again for me, I got to run stuff through classes. That's how we review stuff here, anyways. Um, but you need to know, have confidence in a product. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure. again, it has a surefire name. You know that 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 brings a lot to the game in regards to liability. But you still want to test stuff out. For me, this is going to go a home on, on the gun that's locked up in our room for my wife. When, you know, when I'm on the road down here, because again, as you talked about. No low light training. Mm -mm. My wife's never going to come to a low light class. Correct. Um, you can so, only show her so much. Yeah. And so it's, I just want her to turn the light on, leave it on, and I want her to see as much as possible. Yeah. Den deny for inside, this is a great light for her. Yeah. Denied area with white light. Yeah, you know, that that's a way to do it. We know there's somebody on the other end of that light, and they're there. So denying the space with the white light, control what you can see, control as much of it you can see with that yeah. light. And PID what you can. You got it. And that's it. So what we're going to do here, we're actually inside of a house. We're going to blind ourselves for science. Uh, but show you guys how this works inside uh, a structure with white walls. Because, oh again, God. we do videos outside, people complain. I'm sure we're going to do stuff inside now that people are going to complain. But They will. Because nobody's welcome ever to happy. The, no, welcome, welcome to the, to the internet. internet. The worst thing that's ever happened in the world. <laughs> the internet. I can't wait for the great meteor. Yeah. Um, some other interesting features um, on this light versus the X300U yes. is you can actually change from a high output to a low oh, output. Right. Um, you know, I think a lot of people question, like, why, why, would, why would somebody want that, Steve? <laughs> Why would you want to go from 1,000 lumens to 300? Uh, well, a couple reasons. Uh, one, hey, maybe I live in a really small space and I don't need all of that light. I mean, there's times when I want that light. Uh, you know, Bill Blower is a good buddy of mine. Uh, he uses one in a breaching shotgun mm -hmm. in law enforcement capacity. So, you know, uh, limited light signature, not as much backlighting spill, flooding out other people with it. You know, you can get up on a door with that gun. You can identify. 1,000 lumens is going to spill more into the door than 300. Correct, because of that. So, uh, you know, and again, being up close, really, really close with something, you still need good visibility. Could where, be a white door. Correct. I mean, you'll just be absolutely blind. But what really happens is that that spot gets so concentrated with, that, with, with an overwhelming amount of light to where, you know what, a little bit more flood, a little bit less output, easily identifiable for door locks, breaching, um, the light actually works well, and it, it's not bad if you're wor working under NVGs. Even though, you know, with the auto-gated stuff, um, it's still nice to have enough white light to see something under the goggles if you needed to. Uh, guys use that a lot. Um, I've used it a couple times in, you know, practice class and stuff like that where, hey, I need some light on that because of the voids with, with NVGs. And I'm not an NVG expert. I use enough of them to be dangerous to myself and others, and that's great. Um, there's others that do that. Um, the other thing is, you know, again, how much do you really need at what particular time? Yeah. So it, it could be one of those things like, you know what, 300 is just enough for my small little space that I have. Um, but I do like the option because if you don't need it, don't use it. Yeah. But you have the options. Yeah. Uh, extends that battery time, I guess something. Battery run were, time is another one. I guess if you had, for some reason, if you're, you know, law enforcement, you had to clear a school, for example, at night. Mm -hmm. How long 
that 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 true clearing some is going to be. Some guys, some guys will know. use it for on back clearing, less lumen up when they're looking for things, SSC type of stuff. Um, Don't you know, want to backlight partners or other people whatever like their that. case There's is. Everybody has a reason why they may want X number of light versus X number. Yeah. So and that's fine. This gives you best of both worlds. I like the setup. It, it's a very usable light. I like the ergonomics of it, especially in a shotgun. Um, you know, I run a lot of the 1301s and 870s with the Magpul 4 ends or the Aridus setup, and it's nice clips on the pick rail, and boom, I've got it. And I can literally switch on the top and go from high to low setting yeah. here just by clicking that down, and I've got intermittent or hard lighting. Light. Yeah. Um, and this is compatible with the, the Surefire with the Master Fire also, Holster. Master Fire Holster as Correct. well. So you can, you know, if you have your on suppressor the on the gun and with the draw and and the lights on the minute you draw and present the pistol. There you go. And it has a strobe. Yeah, well, if you're sending your 14 year old daughter off to a rave, <laughs> it's important. That's that's it. <laughs> so we're gonna show you guys some in the house distances with the light, show you how it performs, and then wrap up the video. So what we have first is the uh, the Surefire XH30 uh, Max Vision Beam. We have a distance from where I am standing here at the kitchen threshold into the back bedroom of like 13, 14 yards to where Nick is gonna be standing. So what you'll be able to see is a lot of situational awareness, how it opens up with the beam, with all the spill, what it picks up in the foreground, as well as being able to identify what is in that room in the dark space. So we're kind of talking about cross threshold transitions, room to room spaces, and here we go. 1000 lumens, XH30. Pretty nice. We got Nick, good identification of him. Uh, I have some side lighting from this night light that's on in the uh, foyer area of the house. We have, you know, partial area of the living room lit up as well with some spill going into the far corners. It's bright. I can tell you that much. It sucks. It, it, it is a bright light, and it's not even really a very direct beam. It's a lot of concentrated, I guess, flood is what you would call it. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's removing everything. I can't see you because of the light. Um, I mean, again, it, at these house distances, it's doing what you want it to do. Yeah. And the other thing is, if I need to do indirect lighting, I can add some of it just by umbrella lighting off the ceiling. Um, as you can tell, I can start to obviously identify that there's somebody who's not there, who shouldn't, that's there, that shouldn't be there. Direct the light towards them. All right, so that's the XH30 from Surefire. You want to hit that with 300 lumens? Yep. And then we'll switch the settings over to the 300 lumen. There we go. And there's 300 lumens. Takes away some of the spill. But again, we've got a little bit more narrower focus out of this. And again, that's 300 lumens. Still enough to positively identify and engage at household distances. All right. All right, so um, earlier I said the XH30, I meant the XH35. So we're gonna look at this from about a seven to 10 yard world um, from this vestibule inside to the living room area. We'll start it on high mode first. Switch it over to low. Still quite a usable amount of light. All right, guys. So there is the Surefire XH35. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see you on the white walls anymore. Oh, sorry. These aren't the white walls you're looking for. You don't need to see my face. Again, as we talk about all the freaking time on the show, in videos, Selecting the right light for you. Maybe this isn't the right light for you. Maybe right. it is. Uh, again, for me, this is going to go on on my home defense handgun that, that stays, uh, in, you know, in our bed lock, mm -hmm. in our bedroom, locked up all the time. Because for the roll, I can I can do a lot with this light. Oh, yeah. um, you know, again, I, I carry the XH uh, or excuse me, the X three hundred UA, the new thousand lumen one. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can do a lot with this light. Yes, you can. And it, again, for for those that don't train low light this mm -hmm. is going to help them a lot which is gathering information they're going to be Correct. probably struggling especially their first time dealing with low light yes. i'm going to want them to be able to gather all the information this light provides that for correct them. it does so any other thoughts on the xh35 <sighs> other than don't poo poo on it if you haven't tried it it yeah. does fill a role a lot of people will get too rapid well it's not you know a thousand lumens it's not a ton of throw it's not going to be good for outdoor engagements like how far is your shooting how far is your identification are you really PIing people outside shooting or them like just, past 25 yards? I have no idea. Because I, I mean, sure, I guess it's there's a absolutely, chance. absolutely good chance of it. Um, there's, there's a lot of little benefits to this light that yeah. that fits that role. But you'll you'll see guys that are like, oh, it's it's terrible. It doesn't have this. The X300 is better. The X300 is a very damn good light comparatively, awesome. and but it serves another role. Yeah, it really does. This to me again, awesome home defense light. 
awesome on a shotgun. I, I AR leave, pistol. AR pistol. If that's what you have, small pistol caliber carbine gun. You know, those are still they're they're gaining in popularity as well. I like the light. I think the light fills a bunch of roles that you just can't do with one light with one output. Yeah. Again, it might not do everything the best, but it does stuff really good. Correct. And you know, sometimes that's good enough. Absolutely. So there it is, guys. Again, check the down below for links and discount codes on this light and other lights at Ike at Big Tech's Outdoors. Again, take a low light class with Steve Fisher. If you bring one of these class, well, guess what? You're not going to be able to shoot that much because <laughs> he's going to make you run your hand. I'm going to make you work that handheld stuff. Yeah. I'm going to make you work some handheld. You'll get to shoot your weapon light, but you're going to learn some handheld. Twice, maybe. Maybe five times. <laughs> maybe. <laughs>